Hello everybody, welcome along to the LTR Mandarin School YouTube channel. My name is Max and I work for Team Marketing here at LTL. Now it's been a while since I brought you a video and some of your favourite app reviews. So today we're going to delve into one of the most important, if not the most important, Chinese language learning app of all. This is our Pleca review. So if you're a Chinese language learner, you've probably heard of Pleco, but if you haven't heard of it, then I am about to tell you exactly what Pleco is. So Pleco is in essence a Chinese dictionary on your phone. And as I mentioned before, it's probably the most used app for any foreigner in China and actually also outside of China learning Mandarin. It's an app where you can get your phone out, you can type in the English or the Chinese and you can find out all the words related to it, including example sentences, writing characters, and there's so much more which we're going to delve into in this video. If you've not heard of Pleco before, I recommend you hang around and watch. If you have got Pleco and you're very versed to it, I still recommend you hold fire and watch this video because there's gonna be a few tips and tricks that I want to introduce you all to along with some paid add-ons that you may well find very useful. So, all of you, hold fire and let's dive straight into our Pleco review now. Okay everyone, so now what we're gonna do, we're gonna take a look at the Pleco app itself. Normally we like to do these reviews through desktop. So what I've done before with our Do Chinese and Hack Chinese reviews is showing you the desktop version rather than the mobile version, just because you generally tend to get a bigger screen to work with and more functionality. However, Pleco is only available on the phone and not desktop. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna show you a series of screen grabs, which are gonna appear here right now. Okay, so when you open up Pleco, normally what you can do is simply type in a word in either English or Chinese. So you'll see towards the top of the mobile screen here, you've got an E or a C, and you can actually interchange these by simply clicking on them. E, simply meaning English, and C, Chinese. You can actually get additional ones as well. You might see on my screen here, you've actually also got C-A-N, for you clever clogs out there who got it, that is indeed Cantonese. So that's another additional feature, which maybe is for another video but it's really easy. So with the E, you just type in the English word. So let's say I wanted to discover the word for water in Chinese, which I don't know. I can type in water into the phone and lo and behold, the answer comes up at the top, which of course is shui. And you can also do this vice versa. So perhaps you just learned a Chinese word, but you weren't quite sure what the meaning was in English. So you can type the word in, in Chinese pinyin, of course, and then you will get the answers or the most relevant answers in English. Super, super easy to use, exactly like you would an actual handheld dictionary. Right, the next feature I want to show you, and this is a really, really useful one, but it is actually an add-on, so it doesn't come with the original version of Pleco. You need to buy it, which will show you how to do shortly, but it's so, so useful for Chinese learners of any level actually as well. It's called the Stroke Order Tab. So what you can do is you may have noticed in the previous screenshots with water, but we'll show you some other examples here now, is that you can discover a word, but not only find out its meaning, but how it's written. And this is really, really good. And I recommend it to any Chinese learners. Physical writing isn't something generally that we need to do much of because most of it's typed but it's really, really advisable to actually discover how Chinese characters are put together. It makes guessing characters and understanding characters in the future much, much easier. So what you can do, you can simply click play, you'll see a play button there on the screen. And by playing it, it shows you exactly how it's drawn because there's actually a set way that every character should be drawn. So although it looks very pictorial meaning that you could kind of put it together in your own little way. It's almost like when you write a B or an A or an M or an L, there's generally a set way to do them and it's the, exactly the same with Chinese characters. 
and obviously characters are much more complex than the alphabet that we perhaps know in English. So it's really important to get to know this. So I would recommend getting used to this. So when you learn a new word, don't just learn the word, but actually understand how a character is built up and put together. When you start to do that, patterns will develop and it will become really, really easy for you going forward. So that is a section I would highly advise you download and we'll come on to how to do that shortly. So another feature that you've probably seen on the screen here for each word that's very useful to use, although it can be a little bit weird sometimes when you start to use it, is the example sentences section. Now this is really, really useful, obviously, because you get to see the character and the word in context. And it's highly advisable that you do this. So when you discover a new word, such as some of the ones we've looked at, see how they fit into sentences and how the grammar structure is built up. Now I say it's sometimes weird because I actually find that some of the example sentences maybe aren't the most user friendly, let's say. So you get some quite odd sentences that you will probably never ever have to say in your life and probably never have said before. However, it's still useful in the sense that some of the sentences are very good and very useful and some of them allow you to discover grammar structures and how a character is used because of course in Chinese, whereas some sentences translate directly from English, that isn't always the case. And it's probably more common that that isn't the case. So for example, a word like when isn't used at the start of the sentence all the time like it is in English. So it's useful to see in those sentences whether the actual content is useful or not, you get to see how the character is used. So that is one of the tabs across the top, as you'll see. And I would highly advise again, when you discover a new word, not just to look at the stroke order, but also to look at the example sentences. It's also worth noting that there aren't example sentences for every single word on Pleco, but for most of the more, let's say basic, intermediate, early advanced ones, there are plenty there, so it's fine. Okay, the third section I wanted to show you across the top of the screen here is the other word section. Now, I really like this section personally because it allows you to actually see how logical and easy Chinese can be to learn. So what it allows you to do, again, when you've searched for any word, you can see any other word that is related to that word with additional characters. So for example, I've used the example here, yen, and this essentially means I in Chinese. But what you can do, you can discover other words. So for example, I am wearing yen jing, which are glasses. And there are plenty of other words and characters that are linked to this character. And what this section does is shows you all the words that include that character. And what it does, it shows you, I believe the most common ones at the top, all the way down to the less frequently used ones. And what you'll find is when you do learn a new word, that they often interlink between each other. So as I said, yen in Chinese is I, but you'll actually find things related to the I. So for example, glasses or sunglasses or teardrop or something like this. A lot of them actually include the character yen. So it's really, really clever. And it's a great way to discover new characters. And it actually allows you to learn maybe two or three more words at one time when you are only expecting to learn just the one. So if you want to discover more relatable words, use this section here. I find it really useful and actually very interesting to look through. Okay, so now we're gonna move away from the dictionary itself and we're gonna go right to the very top left of the screen where the three lines, the hamburger icon is and we're gonna open that menu up and look at a couple of things down there as well. And the one below dictionary that you'll see is called history. Very self-explanatory and nothing too much to mention here, but it's a really useful one because there have been many, many times in the past where I've learned a new word, forgotten it, and want to go back and remember it. And I always curse and think, what was that word? Actually, the history function solves all those problems because what you can simply do is go back, it has your whole history, so it goes back 
For me, all the way back to 2015 and 16 when I started learning Chinese, and it has everything that you've got there. That searches, you've got w words that you've clicked on, everything that you've looked at before is all in there. So I would advise perhaps you can make your own set of flashcards uh, with a, a, some post-it notes and a pen at home. You can make flashcards with some of those words that you just always keep forgetting or just going back and reviewing them perhaps every week because it's so easy and in fact it's almost impossible for you to remember a word that perhaps you looked at a week ago. It stays in the short term memory but in the long term memory it's long gone. So go back to your history and utilise that, it's a really handy feature. Okay so back to the hamburger icon and you'll see just below that we've got another section called add-ons or downloads and this essentially is extras that you can add on to your Pleco package. So Pleco is free to download, it's available on iOS and also on Android which is fantastic and the fact it's free is a lifesaver but you can personalise your Pleco and one good example of that is one that I showed you earlier with the stroke order. So this isn't in the basic Pleco bundle. I actually believe it was free a while ago, but I think now it's been changed to a paid add-on. So you'll see there's a number of add-ons. So what they've actually got, they've got some bundles which are quite good. So you've got a basic bundle and a professional bundle. The basic one obviously is a bit cheaper and has some add-ons. And then you've got the professional one, which basically includes almost all of their other add-ons. And these are one-off fees. So you just pay once and that's it. There's no subscription. There's no worrying that you're in a month's time, they're going to take some more money off you. It's a one-off simple payment and it's done. You'll see all the costs are listed next to each bundle, but you can also add small add-ons. So like I did with the stroke order, you can also hand pick specific ones. So if you don't want half of the stuff in the basic or professional bundle and you just want, for example, stroke order and the optical character recognizer, you can just add those two on separately. So it's really, really good. So you can genuinely customize your Pleco exactly how you want it. Two that I did want to mention actually, and one of them was the stroke order. The second one is the flashcard system. So Pleco actually creates flashcards for you. And you'll remember just before in the video, I said about using flashcards because they're such a great way of learning, but you can actually have them in Pleco. You just need to pay for the add-on to do that. You've also got the optical character recognizer, which is what I mentioned. Now this is fascinating to use. A great example, let's say you're in a restaurant You've got some friends from your home country that have come to China and you want to wow them with your Chinese. You see the menu and of course it's all in Chinese. There's no pinyin, there's no English, you're on your own and you cannot for the life of you remember what that character is there. Or maybe you never learned it, no problem. Sneak your phone away, use the optical character recognizer and it will tell you exactly what the character is along with its meaning and everything else you need to know. So not only can you show up in front of your friends, but you can also make sure you order exactly what you and your friends want to order. This is just one of a million potential uses for that add-on. I don't have it myself, but I would highly recommend that you get it. And in fact, I might go and get it later today. Okay, and that is pretty much all you need to know about the Pleco Dictionary app. It's very, very easy to use and probably, as I've said two, three times already, but I cannot stress this enough, one of the most useful apps you will ever download. If you've not been to China and you're planning to come anytime soon, honestly, before any VPN or WeChat or anything else, get Pleco in your portfolio, it's essential. You don't have to do any paid add-ons, you can just use the dictionary as you would a normal handheld dictionary. But I cannot tell you the amount of times I've been in a shop or in the middle of a conversation or in an awkward section where I can't quite understand or find the word that's in the back of my mind, Pleco has saved me. And umpteen times has it done the same for any foreigner who's been in China, I can guarantee this. So we would love to hear from you as well. Have you used Pleco before? 
What do you think of Pleco? Can you rate Pleco out of 10? Down below, we've got a comment section as every YouTube channel has, and we would love for you to become a part of our community. Give us a like, give us a thumbs up, subscribe to us and join thousands of others who are watching our videos week in, week out. Let us know what you think of Pleco and any other app. So you've got Pleco in your portfolio. What other ones do you have? I wanna quickly mention two for you right now before we go. There are other reviews I've done in the last year for two other apps. One is called Do Chinese, which literally translates to read Chinese. Guess what that app does? Fantastic app, link is above. I recommend you watch it. We've also got a written blog on our websites as well, which is linked down below. There's links everywhere. And the second one I want to mention is Hack Chinese. This is slightly newer to the game, but it's one of, if not my favorite Chinese language learning tool for spaced repetition Chinese character learning. It's a great app. I met the owner before, he's a super lad. We did a video review for his app. Link you can find up there. And of course, we did a written review. In fact, we've done two written reviews on Hack Chinese, one from me and one from another friend of mine who also likes it very much. Those links are down below as well. If you've got any others, let us know in the comments below, as I've said. Thank you very much if you've got this far for listening. I hope to see you again on our channel very soon. Bye-bye. You can just hand pick if you... And the second one I wanted to mention, and I've gone blank. Oh my word. Just screen grabs is fine. This base, oh, I need to work. And we're done.